Jenna Laval has known she wanted to work in television since she was five years old. My dad is the executive producer of an entertainment show in Miami. So I've always kind of been really interested in television because I've always wanted to be just like my dad. To reach her goals, she joined the broadcasting classes in elementary school, middle school, and eventually entered Cypress Bay Television in her freshman year of high school. The second I walked in, they were talking about introducing some of the officers, and they said there was an executive producer, and they like started to talk about what she did in her job. I knew I wanted to be that. As part of her initiative to get involved, she attended the Florida Scholastic Press Association State Convention to compete in April 2014. I was so lucky that... My freshman year, I competed with two people who were incredible and who still are incredible, and they were both seniors, and I learned so, so much that year. And we won. We ended up getting first place. After winning first place in the state, Jenna continued competing, attending every convention she's qualified for since her first FSPA. Winning that year and knowing that, like, it was the most incredible feeling that I just wanted to keep, keep doing that, doing anything I could to win. While competing, she also became the executive producer for Aftershock in her junior year and executive director for her senior year, positions that would give Jenna even more competition opportunity. <laughs> With Jenna as executive producer, Aftershock was named the best weekly news show in the nation by the Student Television Network in March 2016, a milestone moment for Jenna. Winning SCN Excellence was without a doubt the greatest moment of my entire life. It was just the most incredible feeling to know that you spend all of your time in here doing, like checking out equipment, lugging it everywhere, spending hours doing a story, and it doesn't, it does mean something. And while the show didn't win a second time in 2017, the crew did win second place in the Crazy 8 News Magazine, where teams have eight hours to create an eight minute news broadcast based on a given prompt. We practice all the time for that competition. It's a crazy thing. It's, every time we practice, it has to be the whole eight hours. We've shortened the times. It's just been a really intense time. I've been doing that same thing for three years. So getting to leave the team and getting to get second place in the nation was an incredible feeling. Jenna never individually placed at STN, but by leading her teams to victory for two years, she doesn't feel very bad about it. Winning Crazy 8, second place, in the nation with everyone else knowing like I led the team was, I would say, made up for it, but even more. Jenna will be attending the Florida State University in the fall, and while she won't be able to compete anymore, her competitive nature will follow. For the last time, Karina Aguilera, CBTV.